Meghan Markle has Prince Harry fearing the Duchess of Sussex will suffer from the same afflicting treatment Princess Diana was forced to go through as commentator Angela Mollard the honeymoon period for the royal couple could soon be over. Meghan Markle has struggled to ease into her new roles as Duchess and has reportedly sparked concerns in Prince Harry she could be subjected to the same treatment Princess Diana had to endure since marrying into the royal family. Commentator Angela Mollard suggested the feelings of misery Meghan is reportedly having could be a result of the stressful period she is going through as she prepares for motherhood and for changes in her relationship with husband Harry. Asked whether the honeymoon period was over for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, Ms. Mollard told The Morning Show, it has to be over. These two in July will have known each other for three years. We know from relationship counselors, as you get into the three-year period of the relationship, it doesn't so much as get boring but it gets real. The state of being in love and infatuation dissipates after three years. Remains to be seen with these two. She continued, this comes at a time when she's made massive changes in her life, she's moved countries, she's given up her job, she's now pregnant, she doesn't have her friends around her, she's got massive unrest within her family. There's so many stress factors it wouldn't be surprising if she had feelings of misery. Harry apparently feels very guilty about the fact, really, it's becoming a repeat of what his mum suffered. Ms. Mollard argued Prince Harry had been unable to protect Princess Diana from the onslaught of attention and would ensure Meghan is spared any further stress as she prepares to give birth to their first child in April. She added, he couldn't protect his mum and we know from the early days if the relationship when he made the unprecedented statement please, leave her alone, he's very protective of her. She should take the advice of Michelle Obama, who's come out and said you need to take it slowly. Do not everything at once, you're pregnant, you're having a baby, just feel your way gently. Meghan and Harry made their first joint public appearance in Birkenhead on Monday during which the Duchess of Sussex made the unprecedented decision to confirm she is six months, putting the due date of the baby in late April at the earliest. Adding to the stress of impending motherhood, Meghan has also been dogged by growing rumors of a rift with sister-in-law Kate exacerbated by revelation the Duke and Duchess of Sussex missed out on the birthday celebrations for the Duchess of Cambridge earlier this month. Their absence from Kate's birthday celebration is thought to arise from the fact they were both abroad on holiday and unfortunately could not attend Kate's private party but claims still abound about the tension between brothers, Harry and William, and their wives, Meghan and Kate. In November Kensington Palace announced that Harry and Meghan Markle were moving out of their two-bedroom home at Kensington Palace. Royal expert Katie Nichol, in her 2010 book William and Harry, reveals how the two brothers have not always seen eye to eye. She also confirmed the royal couple had decided not to find out the sex of their unborn baby as they would like it to be a surprise. In 2002 it was revealed that the underage Harry had been drinking in the village pub near Highgrove, and had also been smoking marijuana. Ms. Nichol writes, Harry escaped an official police warning but the incident sent shockwaves through the royal family. She continues, it was the catalyst for the first serious rift between William and Harry, who resented the fact that he had been blamed for everything while William got away scot-free. Ms. Nichol reported how a former aide said, William felt guilty that his brother had taken all the blame while he had come out as Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. For the first time their relationship really suffered and they barely spoke. In the end he forgave William because it wasn't really William's fault, but it took some time. Harry was reeling for a while. 